Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Amaya and for today's video, I'm gonna be mixing all of my foundations, which are my holy grail foundations. So it's my matte full coverage foundations and my medium light dewy coverage foundation. So I'm pretty excited to see how they all apply when I mix them all together. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys which foundations I will be mixing and let's see how that works out. <laughs> Pretty excited, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be mixing the L'Oreal Number no. 7 Fit Me NARS Urban Decay Wet n Wild, the new Maybelline foundation, and this other L'Oreal foundation. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna mix them all in this little bowl. So let's see. So let's mix this up. Okay, so now just with a flat foundation brush, I'm gonna go in anyways. I'm not using primer, just so I can see how this really applies. So now I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend that in. Oh, by the way, I did get a haircut and I love it. I love it. It's so me. It's so perky. I love my new hair. Okay, so I'm just going to finish blending this in and I'm going to zoom you guys in after and see how it looks. Okay, you guys, so I have you guys zoomed in and I'm not even mad at how this turned out <laughs> so beautiful i can't believe i'm mixing all of those gave me this finish i did have to apply a little more on my chin and on this area because it wasn't super full coverage but oddly enough i really like the finish how crazy mixing all of these and you get this really pretty dewy finish I really like it so let's just go ahead and finish off the rest of my face so I'm gonna apply some Tarte Shape Tape so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in okay so now I'm gonna be setting my under eyes with my Laura Mercier setting powder Put a little bit on my beauty blender. Okay, now I'm gonna be going in with a fluffier brush. Just tapping that in, tapping all the excess off. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face since this was a pretty dewy finish. Dragging that all the way down, making sure everything's blended. Same thing to my forehead. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my eyebrows, and I will be back, and we can just do our bronzer, our blush, and our highlight together, and see how it all looks when we're done. So now I'm gonna be going in with my bronzer from ColourPop in the shade Private Party. And I'm using my Equal Tools Precious Blush Brush. Just go ahead and bronze it up. Okay, and I'm looking at the bronzer, and it applied very beautifully on top of the foundation. It's not patchy. It didn't move the foundation. Very pretty. So now I'm going to go in with my blush, and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Candid Coral Blush 
I'll be using a Luxie 504 large and gold brush for my blush. So now I'm going to be going in with my highlighter and I'll be using the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals. Oldie but a goodie, can't go wrong. It's such a beautiful highlight. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. It is a very short and sweet video, but I just really wanted to try this out. I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing this. And I was like, you know what? I need to see what kind of finish all my foundations give me. And surprisingly enough, it's such a pretty finish. Such a pretty finish. I will be letting you guys know down in the descriptions, letting you guys know how it did wear after a few hours to see if it did start breaking apart, getting too oily or whatever it may be. I will be letting you guys know, but please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments to see if you guys are willing to try this. I recommend you guys trying it. It's actually a lot of fun. And you never know, you might actually like the finish. Am I gonna be doing this every day? No, but it was nice to see that all of my foundations make a very beautiful finish. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.